There are 370 million indigenous peoples in over 5,000 communities situated in 70 countries worldwide. A small percentage of Earth's population, but a large percentage of the diversity of knowledge. Because indigenous cultures are experiential taproots to deep knowledge about place. This talk is about how the Haudenosaunee imaginatively protect our space in the most powerful settler nation, the US, and state, New York, in the world. The struggle to maintain our land base is matched only in veracity by the ongoing dispossession of land through the struggles of colonization. I push back with the curatorial intervention at the Smithsonian's National Museum of the American Indian by stripping, by <clears throat> by stripping bare the empire's colonization machine, a lust for gold, ceramic markers of the indigenous cultures eliminated to open the land by force, and if bullets didn't work, Bibles. Over 3,000 indigenous languages have been translated into the Bible. Guns, Bibles, and treaties are at the core of the colonization machine with land as the prize. For indigenous peoples, modernity is a 500-year-long assault on our survival. Anishinaabe writer Gerald Visner evoked the term survivance to emphasize an active indigenous presence, not victimization. For example, when settler states obstructed the movement of the Haudenosaunee in our ancestral homelands, we resisted and assert our rights to move freely in our territories. The line of Haudenosaunee leaders embody an act of decolonization. One of the marchers, my grandfather, Chief Clinton Rickard, called it fighting for the line. The line in this case is self-determination as nationhood or sovereignty. The Haudenosaunee understand the contemporary strategies of colonization and sent Descahe to the League of Nations in 1924 to remind recent modern nation states of our inherent rights. It's complicated, but working within the structure of the UN <clears throat> puts our issues in an international arena. We need this mechanism because the US, Canada, New Zealand, and Australia voted against the Declaration of Indigenous Rights. We have to continue to do this because the Haudenosaunee are located in one of the most powerful settler states in the world. This is a march at the Canandaigua Treaty. Canadian reconciliation actions are balanced by idle no more protests. Aotearoa, or New Zealand, is a bilingual Maori and English country as part of their sovereignty strategy. Rights for Aboriginal Australians lag far behind, but ironically, the Sydney Biennale consistently invites indigenous artists globally to exhibit. To be an indigenous citizen of our nations is part of the ongoing work at the UN. The Haudenosaunee have authored our own passports <clears throat> and are negotiating roadblocks for modern nation states reluctant to acknowledge their settler state existence in contrast to our inherent claims to the land, to our land. The summary report 
from the World Conference on Indigenous Peoples made <coughs> the connection between land loss and the extinction of, cult of, of Indigenous cultures. The Haudenosaunee Red Card details the legal relationship we have to the U.S. and European governments. It is a clear example of two different ways of expressing knowledge. The red card is how the West describes these agreements, and the wampum is how the Haudenosaunee express it. The wampum, the wampum belts re represent our responsibility to each other and the earth, establishing the practice of confirming these ideas or principles in this form. The Gayanogoa, or Great Law, is a governmental structure practiced by the Haudenosaunee for over a thousand years. And this is a photograph from the recent recitation that took place this summer, in 2015. And here are all the belts that were brought out in order to uh, have this um, uh, discussion at the, um, at the Great Law. The two-row, or Gaswenta, originally an agreement with the Dutch, symbolizes mutual respect because we all share the river of life, represented as a white row between two purple rows, and white also signifies peace. Indigenous peoples globally are making our space, are marking our space with actions like the two-row renewal. In the moment of war and ecological collapse, the Haudenosaunee are enacting the principle of the two-row to call for peace and equity. As artists, we transform the Gacenta into a living symbol. The Haudenosaunee Artists Guild The Haudenosaunee Artists Guild unfurled a 50-foot-long belt in front of the UN. A belt, the belt is an installation in a homeland security checkpoint that intersects Canada, the US, and Haudenosaunee territories. It is used It is used to remind us of the work to be done to decolonize our minds and bodies. And we still <clears throat> the Gaswenta is a path from violence to peace. And we still need these actions because the pressure is still on us. To, dis to dispossess us from our ancestral homelands. It's only been 25 years since the military was called against the Haudenosaunee just south of Montreal. Some of you may be familiar with the incident, what they call the incident at Ganasatage. In many ways, the extraction resource wars going on in the world today are a continuation of the colonization and eradication of indigenous peoples in the Americas. I argue indigenous cultures are art, and today we use art as our wampum belts for change. Through creative interventions, we continue to reimagine our space beyond the age of empire. And in the world's oldest governments and cultures, I think experience and time are on our side. The corn will be here much longer than us. And as Mohawk poet Alex Jacobs said, the law is in the seed. Nyawa.
Thank you very much, Jolin. That's really, I'm really happy you mentioned Chief Deskake because he's very, very important person in indigenous movement, in, even for Indonesia, uh, indigenous right. peoples. He's right. very well known as the father of the movement right. and connect, uh, our connection with the UN. Um, I have questions about this. Uh, you've been mentioning our relation with the UN, how we fight through UN, how we struggle to get instruments that can recognize indigenous people's rights. And we, we did have some very strong instrument in the UN about indigenous people's rights. But why, uh, the, the, in the community level, the, there's, uh, we rarely see changing. Mm -hmm. Situation is still the same. Uh, encroachment of the land and territory is still happening. Mm -hmm. And uh, our people get arrested, they get criminalized because they're protecting their forests and their mm -hmm. territories. What is missing in this, uh, you know, some, we have some progress, but we also have things that not work on, on you mm -hmm. know, in the ground. Mm -hmm. what, what's going on? Enforcement is missing. And so, uh, as a, and so it's really an awareness issue that the role the UN plays right now. And so I would say that from our first attempt in 1924, and by the way, Descahe was a personal friend of my grandfather. Mm -hmm. And so my family has been involved in the sovereignty movement uh, for the Haudenosaunee for a very long period of time. And so I see this as maybe the second or third step where our relationship to an international community needs uh, to establish some kind of protocol of uh, law that protects and helps indigenous peoples because you're not going to get that protection within indiv individual settler state relationships. Mm -hmm. there is no, there's very little protection for us on that Government level. Government keep using the sovereignty issues right, against right. all these instruments, right? Right, right. And so I see the UN as uh, at the very early phases mm -hmm. of developing this instrument and a lot of people in our communities still feel, the Haudenosaunee communities, still feel it's important to do this work at the UN, although it's very difficult to translate mm -hmm. that work back home. Mm -hmm. But at the same period of time, uh, we don't, we're not going to wait for the UN. Right. We still have to continue yeah. with our, uh, our uh, priorities. Mm -hmm. yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.